and we're on the way back, reversing back down. I came a little way too close for comfort. Nature is freaking amazing though. It's just this like beautiful dance of nature and the idea is for humans not to over harvest and disrupt this thing because it doesn't just affect one species, it affects hundreds. <laughs> Mandatory. I've already lost a pair of glasses in the lake here once. I'm never doing that again. It was such a pain. I had no glasses. I only had sunglasses and I was like, how the f do I drive at night time? Right, this is going to be fun. Look at how brave you are, Frank. Stay You're doing so front. good. Yay, buddy. Flossie's coming too. Flossie's just taking a bit to get organized. Oh, this is gorgeous. I know. Hi, Frank. Hey, hey, the viewers calm down. This is why I'm sitting down watching. Good idea. <laughs> oh, Frank, you're so. Just stay sitting down. Oh my god. Da 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 da. Ah! Wait, that one. I was just turning around so that I can go in like this. Okay, you're gonna go on that. And you know, the view is better when you face this way. I actually brought a piece of rope. Look at this. Isn't this freaking amazing? That's a piece of rope. That's great. And then I can go. Woo! We're gonna have a picnic! Frank, Frank, BB, personal space, personal space, bud. Oh, we should look at that. Nice. Anyone would think I've done that before. Have you not done it before? Um, um, I don't know. There's a clip on there. Could you unclip that life ring rope and I can clip it to that guy? borrow this for a hot second so my my vessel doesn't float away <laughs> after that short jaunt jaunt we might stop and eat and watch the colors come across the sky
Tip to tip. <laughs> tip to tip. <laughs> tip, tip. <laughs> Are we just going straight back across or do you want to go all the way to the end? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I can't tip over. Boop. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> if you get scared, Frank, all you gotta do is lay down and then you feel. You want me to? I'll let you go um, dismount first. Okay. Whoopsie. Haha. -ha. We have a run aground. This is exactly what I wanted to do. all know that I love the ocean, but there's something magically serene about paddling on a small lake at sunset that just really slows the heart rate down, and puts the mind at ease. For whatever's gone on during the day slowly ceases to matter quite so much to life. You would think that this idyllic beach is all fun times, bliss, and a great time, but the reality is it's a mud pit. We're both stuck, and I don't know if we're gonna get about to get out, so. And I turned my engine off, so hopefully the van starts again so that when I'm ready to drive out, I can actually get out of here. And to make matters worse, there's a cliff. And we're gonna try not to fall over off it if we slide in the mud. Look at these freaking slidey mud tracks. And we're on the way back, reversing back down. I came a little way too close for comfort. Oh, I was freaking out. You can see I just slid. Oh, okay. My heart is pounding. This is so stressful. I'm glad that Amanda has changed. I'm gonna go grab my phone and stand probably at the top of the hill so that we can stop anyone else from driving down while we try to get up. This is easily a 25 or more percent grade. Ah. Chains will help. If there was a series called Getting Stuck in Beautiful Places, this would definitely be it. Amanda's a tiny dot down here, and we're on the side of a steep cliff with this beautiful creek slash river running past. I'm at the top, waiting for Amanda. 
She just texts me that she's starting up the hill now. I'm making sure no vehicles come down and block her and slow her down because once you start going up a hill, you have to get keep going. Otherwise you lose traction and have to go all the way back down again. Oh, my heart is going like this and I'm sure hers is too. So much for a nice relaxing paddle. We picked the wrong beach today. tears in my eyes oh my god that's one part done now I have to do the driving and I'm freaking out <laughs> you did it I'm so proud of you oh no now it's mud because you're on the Pacific Northwest it's almost so much worse because I can't just wait for night and have it freeze solid and climb out <laughs> Rescue mystery mission. Now I'm here to learn how to put these chains on because the next thing I'm gonna do is buy chains for my big step van. So the big thing is the spikes. See the spikes there? Yeah. They go on the outside. Okay. And then you wanna get it centered. It's pretty good. And then I always do up the inside first because it's harder to reach. Yeah. Um, because the second one you do up is usually tighter. Okay. So I do up the inside one first because it's typically harder. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Amanda. <gasps> yeah. You're like, chains are saving the day. <laughs> you almost want to hop in the ocean with all of your clothes on so you can wash the mud off yourself. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't be in long enough to get clean and I would just be cold, dirty. If this isn't what love is between friends, I don't know. <laughs> And then it has to go back. Yeah. You have to like bend it over this link. Okay. And so then it's like a double double lock kind of thing. And then, <gasps> You're beautiful. Thank you. Maybe go wash your hands in the ocean before yeah. you walk up the hill. I will. Hey. And then gotta steal my nerves for driving up that freaking hill. Cross all your fingers and toes, wish me luck. I'm sure we'll be fine, but I'm going to be... <sighs> my heart will be beating out of my chest. Okay. I'm gonna walk up. I will text you when I'm stationed on guard duty. And Slow like, and steady. I clean my hands, perfectly clean, and the mud's just like seeping off my... Oh, it's like oh, all on the inside of my no. cuffs. But just like... Keep it slow and steady. Yeah. Moderate and steady. Moderate and steady. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm so nervous. I just had to wait till Amanda got to the top of the hill and it felt like waiting an eternity.
Yeah. Oh, well, we made it. Yeah. You'll need to come up further to take the chains off. Yeah, probably because then you're out of the way. Somebody else can go get themselves into an <laughs> issue. <laughs> yeah. I never want to do that again. No, me either. Okay. Who's the best oh. friend in the world? <laughs> we're so lucky that these chains were like barely fit. Like barely. Like they were... Oh, I got a little dizzy there. <laughs> They're like a little on the like loose side. Like these would not be the size you would buy. No. But you said you were sl kind of slidey on the way yeah. up and that's because you were sliding in the chains. Oh my God. Oh, but like, yeah. Couldn't be a worse fit and work out. <laughs> I never want to do that again. I was <laughs> pooping my pants. Oh, they're so, so heavy. So gross. That's so much mud. We're going to need a hose. They doesn't even fit. There's so much mud. They don't even fit in here. Oh my God. <laughs> Flossie's made a sign warning other poor saps like ourselves. It's horrible. Don't do it. Don't go down. Not worth it. You're such a good boy. Hey, Luna, you want to try one of these oh, bump. Oh, look, there's some floating trash. I should pick it up. Boop. Can you get off my butt? I mean, off my foot? Just get rid of some trash. This is so relaxing. This is much needed after that whole first attempt. <sighs> We haven't even gone anywhere and I feel better already. This is a high tide. Yeah, really like a super high tide. Yeah, full moon. Full moon tide. If it was a lower tide, you'd better see all the eelgrass down here, all the gooey ducks. I noticed Frank sniffing oh. about. Ooh. Oh my god, I saw it. I don't know what it was though. Don't make me fight you about this. Oh my god. I'm terrified. I'm fucking terrified. I'm terrified. I thought I was done with like shaking of terror today. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful, awe inspiring, but scary when you, you have a dog. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, the dog factor is a big thing. True, I don't have a dog that wants to jump in the water and chase the sea lions. I think we just gave them a fright, so they were like... <laughs> oh, Amanda! It's totally fine, Frank. You'll get used to it. <laughs> he was like, there's creatures under the ocean! That called yourself like somebody who's new to an experience and is getting used to it. It's good. Oh, and the sun comes out. <sighs> Tell me what the sea lions are. <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> you put me on the spot. 
So we don't normally get sea lions in this particular area. You get them a lot around Nanaimo and the opposite shore to Nanaimo. Um, but the time when they do come through here is because the herring or the anchovies, the big bait balls, flashes of lots of giant fish, um, their herring are running. And I think they run to Thetis Island um, in around that area. Um, and then they lay, lay all their eggs and mate there. Mm -hmm. And so the sea lions and all the wild animals just come in and in this mass feast for this one brief period of time mm -hmm. for like a week or two. And so we don't normally, and last time we went for a dive, we had a couple of sea lions just around. And we were probably in around exactly the same spot just up there. Nature is freaking amazing though, like the circle of life, how one thing brings other things and they all feed and they procreate and mate and it's just this like beautiful dance of nature and the idea is for humans not to over harvest and disrupt this thing because it doesn't just affect one species, it affects hundreds. Yeah, and I mean, they're in the area, but they're not two or three feet from us like they were before. Oh, this view is stunning. Doing so good. Better at this than my workout plan. <laughs> <laughs> this is part of your workout plan. Totally. And then my workout plan is to do it to get better for this. Yay! So much fun. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, stunning. I put this down to protect my bed from all of this. that is a truly special end to the most eventual, eventful day of adventures ever. <sighs> wow. Wow. A hug. <laughs> Yep. Like, not even a whole day, like three hours. 
I'm just pure excitement. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay, bye. bye See later. you later. Like very soon later, not like later later. <laughs> yeah. Hi everybody. Thanks so much for watching. That was such a wild adventure. I'm so glad that Amanda and I can get through both the fun, relaxing things and also really sticky, tricky situations. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was such an adrenaline rush and a roller coaster ride of a day. Well, that's a full moon for you. I've got a very exciting announcement to make that I wanted to share with you. I've been working on some vinyl stickers. Yay! So this is me in my wetsuit with my new step van and it's kind of based on the idea of a tarot card um, with the BC mountains in the background and some beautiful ocean and the wings are kind of the representative of my tattoo on my back. Um, these will be on uh, the links below and I really wanted to share this with you as this is a huge step for me in trying to get my electrical system for the new van together. Batteries are incredibly expensive and there's a few parts that I don't have so your support means the world to me. Your support even just following along with this video series. Thank you so much and a huge special thanks to my Patreons. I can't wait to share more of the van build with you next week. There's some exciting things coming. See you then. Bye.